permission. My name is Derek. And my name is Sonoma. The first room that we will go in is the church. This is the church where they did all the baptisms and had um, communion. And it is where they prayed and worshipped. The priest stood up here to view um, everyone that sat in the benches. The next room is the dining room. This is the dining room where all of the meals were eaten. They had a tolly for breakfast, which was a sort of a type of gruel, and it was made out of wheat and corn and beans and a little bit of meat, but they were lucky. They had every meal of the day here except for on fiesta days, which were just special days where they ate outside. The next room is the kitchen. This is This is the kitchen where they made all of the food like a tolly. People had special jobs, and it was their designated um, job at the mission to cook the meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and everyone at the mission. The next room is the library. The library is where they had all the books they needed. Most of these books were religious, like Bibles. The next room is the courtyard. This is the place where everyone in the mission spent their little free time. Everyone at the mission worked very, very hard. They had little free time, although they still had a little bit. They like to come outside and relax in in that time. The next room is the convento. These are the rooms where most people slept in the mission. It was very small and simple. See, they were very small. We we fit 16 in here, and that's just a little bit. So if we go inside one of the rooms, they're very small. They only have three things: a bed, um, a crafting table, or just a table usually, and a chest to put their small personal possessions in. The, the next place where we will go to is the crops. Just skip this part, okay? We can. This is where they grew crops to eat. It was one of the main food sources of the mission. So, as you can see here, there's only three types of food, but they had a lot more. We just designated seeds, melons, and pumpkins. So... They, they had to have a lot because there was little, um, there was, this is one of the two main food sources at the mission, and the other one was meat. <coughs> the next room is the cemetery. The cemetery is where they buried all the people who died at the mission, like neophytes and, and other religious people. The next room is the blacksmith. This is where all of the tools and weapons were made in the mission. For example, they made crossbows, crossbow swords, axes, and much more. In the blacksmith, they made all of the tools at the mission. So if you didn't have a good blacksmith, it wasn't really a good mission. You couldn't really thrive. That's why the blacksmith was one of the most important places at the mission. The next room is the tannery. 
This is where they made all the le leather and other things for the mission. For example, they made saddles and and curtains. The next room is, or the next place we will go to is the cattle and the horses. This, this is where they kept all of the cattle for e eating and skinning. This was the second of the second main food source of the entire mission. Sanborn Aventura mission was mainly known for their uh, horses. They had the most horses of any mission in California. And they had the biggest stables, but yep. we only showed a small portion of what they had. Yep. They had 29,000 horses. Finally, Derek will take you on a tour of the decoration and architecture of the mission. Okay, thanks, Sonoma. So... At the mission, they didn't have much um, use to materials. So they had to use um, um, only a small portion of the materials that we know today. We used cobblestone because that was fairly well known at that time and because it, it looks sort of like it could be used during that time. We created the um, church with uh, with quartz because they felt that the church was the most important room of the mission, so they made it very, very um, decorative. And finally, we have the adobe. At the mission, People said it took 10 years to be a full mission because they had to use adobe brick, which was a mix of mud, water, and, well, cow dung. And so it, they had rain seasons, and if this got wet before it hardens fully, it, will, um, it won't stay stable. So they had to make little parts of the mission at a time for 10 years until they can get it ready. The way we made the adobe brick was because um, it wasn't perfect, so they had to make it um, by hand. It wasn't a machine, so we made it randomly. See the random pattern? And we used bricks and red clay. That's all. Thank you for watching. My name is Derek. And my name is Sonoma. We hope you liked the tour of the San Buenaventura mission.